Welcome to Basic Bipedric series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will see how to create spine joints for biped rig setup. What will be our workflow? We will create a spine joint setup. Then we will create a COG joint which will work as the root joint for our hierarchy. Let's start with the session. In previous session, we have created a leg setup with the help of joint. Now we will have to create upper body spine or you can say upper body joints for our character. Go to side view. There we will have to create a joint setup. So go to skeleton joint tool. We will have to create joint from downward towards upward direction. Or else you can go to front view and start with one joint over here. You can have five spine joints or seven or nine. It is up to your requirement how advanced biped rig you want to create. Press enter. I have created seven joints over here. Go to side view. We cannot keep this as a straight one. I'll just move it accordingly. It will have reverse S shape for the spine. The placement of joints has to be very proper so that at the time of skinning you get less artifacts. Go to front view again. Okay, so now whatever joints we have created till now we need to rename it. So to rename these joints we will rename it as spine we'll name it as lower lw for lower lower underscore spine lower spine a lower spine underscore a underscore zero one that is our hierarchy press enter next bone with the help of down arrow lower spine b zero one then mid spine md spine c zero one mid spine d zero one upper spine E01 upper spine F01 and the last 
joint of the spine can be renamed as neck underscore zero one. So basically we have created seven spine joints for our character in this kind of a reverse S shape. Now you can just check it out with the naming convention we have assigned for this spine that is lower spine A, lower spine B, mid spine C, mid spine D, upper spine E, upper spine uh, F. I'll have to rename it over here F and then the neck one. So these are the spine joints for our upper body part. Now the spine works separately. Upper body can move separately. Uh, it can have a proper rotation which cannot uh, we can choose to not have uh, affected uh, lower body should get affected because of this upper spine rotation. Now we can also animator can also have uh, you know liberty to uh, animate only hip separately and like that. So as you know that leg setup is uh, you know parented with the hip we cannot just directly select the spine and parent it with hip so that we cannot have a separate hip rotation or translation or we cannot create a separate controller for hip uh, uh, you know animation so we will have to create one more joint which will be the main joint you can say the root joint of this skeleton so which will be the common parent for upper body and lower body hierarchy go to front view choose your joint tool there is a recent tool at the left side toolbox over here and now click one joint press enter go to side view place it in a proper way over here go to perspective again select hip joint shift select this joint press p so now hip is a child of this joint and select spine one then select this recently created joint and press p now i can have separate upper body hierarchy and i can have a separate lower body hierarchy which are child of this bone and we should rename this bone which is handling the whole skeleton or which is the root bone of the skeleton we should rename it as cog underscore zero one i'll just rename this hip also as a hip underscore zero one so now if i'll select this root bone which is cog center of gravity if i'll select it you can see the whole skeleton can get selected over here Now we have created upper body uh, joints for spine starting with the spine only we have created seven joints over here uh, for our uh, selected surface. So in next lesson we will see how we can create head joint and jaw joint setup and uh, let us see what we have learned in this video. What we learned in this video. We have seen there can be five, seven or nine joints for spine. You can rename the joints with proper naming conventions. We have renamed spine joints as lower, middle and upper spine. For any query, you can follow me on Facebook. You can write me an email on rohan.pagianimator at gmail.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can follow my Google Classroom with this code. Thank you.